Okay, cyclone test number one. Going to put some uh, paper scraps through the uh, cyclone so you can see it going. Okay, cyclone test number two. We've got some uh, router shavings, etc. And we've added a pipe on to suck the router shavings out, and we'll see how that goes around. Okay, so the top's off. Uh, can't really see it in this light, but um, a lot of the finer dust down the bottom there. Some of those router shavings fell in from the top up here, but uh, I think that's pretty good. Um, we'll do a bit further testing once I uh, empty out the extractor bag, and we'll be able to see how much of that actually goes through into the uh, extractor. Okay, we're back for test number three. Now what I've done is I've actually cleaned up the uh, dust extractor as best I can. Um, got the uh, air hose onto it and blew most of the dust out of it, out of the bags and that. Now, I'm not going to show you the vacuuming up for this stage. Uh, basically all I'm going to do is just go around and get all the fine dust that's slowly built up since our last cleaning. Um, that is built up obviously because the... Uh, dust bag se uh, separating the fine dust is pretty much useless now because the bags are fairly old and to be honest I don't think they're that good to start off with um, so anyway I'm going to hook up the uh, larger hose off our CNC machine to the cyclone okay and I vacuum up as much fine dust and that as I can find around the shed get the shed nice and clean and um, when we come back We'll uh, check inside the dust extractor and see how well it went. Okay, we're back after giving the um, shed floor, etc., a bit of a rough clean down. I could have done it a lot better, but. I don't want to be spending all day in here now. I've got a bit of uh, debris in the bottom here. Um, it's picked up things from, uh, as you can see, that pink post note around the side here. Sawdust, uh, bits of sandpaper, etc. So has no problem picking anything up. Um, at first look, I can see a little bit of fine dust has actually made it past the cyclones. Um, how much, we won't know until we look inside the extractor so not 100% impressed with that but um, it might be a lot less than it looks judging by there okay so give me a sec I'll chuck my dust mask on and um, we'll have a look inside okay so we're back we're looking inside the bin all right quite a bit of fine dust has gone in there um, so that's pretty good uh, as I mentioned before about the seals, okay, needs to be a good seal. There appears to be a light leak just there. We might need to fix that up, but the rest of the seal around the edge seems to be quite fine. So that'll need a bit of fixing up, and we'll get it uh, operating a bit more efficient now. 
let's take a look inside the uh, dust extractor bags. Okay, so I've taken the dust extractor bag off. All right, it's a bit hard to tell in this bag, but it um, looks relatively clean. Okay, got a little bit of dust. Not that you could probably see that on the inside there. Okay, so we still need to fine tune that seal bit up a bit, but uh, other than that, I reckon it's been pretty successful. Thanks.